This one's tough because Audi makes some amazing vehicles. I mean, my family owns one for goodness sake. But sadly, this one doesn't tap into my emotions the way the others do. I'm Chris from Auto Academics, and today we're going to take a look at a 2022 Audi Q3 S-Line 45 TFSI Quattro. You'll get a little more clarity in a bit, but first, let's go over the specs. Painted a beautiful tango red metallic is this 2022 Audi Q3 S-Line 45 TFSI Quattro. Standard features include power adjustable heated exterior mirrors, aluminum front door sill inlays with illuminated S logo, S-Line exterior, progressive steering, and power tailgate. The interior showcases a bit more, including a three-spoke multifunction steering wheel with shift paddles, Audi Drive Select, Audi smartphone interface, heated front seats, high beam assist, panoramic sunroof, power adjustable front seats and lumbar, hill descent control, wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, rear seat with 40-20-40 split folding sliding and reclining, three zone automatic climate control, and push button start. Safety and convenience features include advanced airbag protection system with eight airbags, front and rear parking sensors with rear view camera, Audi presense front, lane departure warning, Audi side assist, and rear cross traffic warning. Now for the good stuff. Options consist of the Premium Plus package that includes Adaptive Cruise Assist and Audi Active Lane Assist, Alarm System with Motion Sensor, Audi Advanced Key, Audi Phone Box, Auto Dimming Interior Mirror with Compass, Auto Dimming Power Folding Exterior Mirrors, Homelink Garage Door Opener, Full LED Headlights, LED Interior Lighting Plus Package, memory for driver's seat, stainless steel trunk sill, and top view camera system. The technology package adds Audi Connect Plus, Audi MMI Navigation Plus, Audi Virtual Cockpit Plus, MMI Touch Display, three month trial of Sirius XM 360L, Sonos 3D Premium Sound System, and traffic sign recognition. The black optic sport package provides black roof rails, high gloss black exterior elements, and sport front seats with S embossing and contrast stitching. This car has the 20 inch five double spoke module design wheels wrapped in 255 40 series Bridgestone Potenza S005 summer tires, as well as rear side airbags and Audi beam rings. Finish things off with the tango red metallic paint, and you get a total MSRP of $49,195. The exterior of this car looks really good, especially in this red with the black trim. And if you ask me, the 20 inch wheel package is a must as well. Although they too might look better in black. The cargo area can handle up to 23.7 cubic feet behind the rear seats and 48 cubic feet when the 40, 20, 40 rear seats are stowed. There are two cubbies back there, a 12 volt outlet, and the space saving tire is located beneath the floor. The power plant is a 2 liter turbo fuel stratified injection 4 cylinder engine that makes 228 horsepower, 258 pound feet of torque. It's mated to an 8 speed Tiptronic automatic transmission with Quattro all wheel drive. 
Audi Drive Select allows you to choose between off-road, comfort, auto, dynamic, and individual, adjusting the powertrain responsiveness and steering feel. Zero to 60 passes in seven seconds and top speed is 130 miles per hour. EPA estimated fuel economy is rated at 21 miles per gallon city, 28 miles per gallon highway, with a combined rating of 24 miles per gallon. Auto Academics saw an average of 25.7 miles per gallon during testing on regular fuel, though premium fuel is recommended. While not necessarily built for tall people, the back seat is surprisingly fine for average sized adults like myself. There's a manually operated third zone for climate control, component speakers in the doors, cup holders in the armrest, as well as 12 volts and USB-C outlets down below. Up front is where things turn from not bad to eh. You see, at first glance, things look pretty good with all the complex angles and large screens. But upon closer inspection, you'll find a lot of hard plastics that don't measure up to this car's price tag. The seats look and feel good, and the Sonos stereo sounds decent once you get it set up properly. Sonos is known for their wireless home system, so I was surprised to see them in this car. Now, let's talk briefly about the infotainment system. It looks nice, and I like the functionality of its design when it functions as it should. On one occasion, the entire system reset, wiping all of my saved functions. It can also be finicky when connecting wireless Android Auto. Sometimes it's quick and easy, sometimes it isn't. So now that we've addressed all that, it's time to take it out and see how it drives. Similar to its larger siblings, the Q3 is a vehicle for people who like to drive, which is what you'd expect from an Audi. And the handling of this Q3 is nice. Steering is responsive, even if it's a bit too light in comfort mode for my liking, but keep it in auto or dynamic and it feels pretty good. The non-adjustable suspension might feel a bit firm for those of you coming out of more mainstream vehicles. And that's a shame because the steel suspension on my wife's Q7 doesn't adjust either. And it feels great. Power is, well, what you'd expect from a small crossover. Problem is, lesser cars of the same size have achieved the unexpected. While this two liter revs quickly, its power is just fine and it's kind of noisy too. Well, I guess that's primarily during hard acceleration, but I do like the transmission. It's smooth and reacts well to what you ask of it. Wind turbulence is kept in check as well, keeping the cabin mostly quiet. That is until you reach higher speeds then road noise starts to creep in. <laughs> it's probably due to this wheel and tire package I like so much. So you may have to choose between good looks and handling versus a quieter driving experience. As an Audi owner, I know that you can have a vehicle that seems to do it all. Just not in a crossover for 50 grand. So there you have it guys, the 2022 Audi Q3 S-Line 45 TFSI Quattro. Some features on this Q3 provide a good glimpse into the wonderful world of Audi. Sadly, to get it all, you may need a higher model. 
as always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss what we have coming up next. I'm Chris from Auto Academics. Thanks for watching.